This video explains how to scale the ggplot2 color gradient to a range outside the data using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines 2 to 5 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains three columns, X, Y, and C. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code we can create a ggplot2 heat map using the functions that you can see in lines 10 to 12. So after running these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of our studio, a new plot object called ggp is appearing. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 13 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new raster heat map at the bottom right of our studio. You can also see that this heat map contains colors that correspond to the default specifications of the ggplot2 package. So if we want to change that, we can manually set the color ranges using the scale fill gradient n function, as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. So within these lines of code, I'm first specifying the plot object ggp that we have created before. And then I'm adding to this the scale fill gradient n function. And within this function, I'm specifying the colors that should be used for the beginning of the color range, the middle of the color range, and the end of the color range. So after running lines 15 to 16 of the code, you can see that the colors of our plot are updated. And the blue color at the bottom corresponds to this hex color code. And the dark color at the top corresponds to this hex color code. However, you can also see that the color ranges are set to the maximum and minimum values in our data set automatically. So let's assume that we want to set the color range outside of the actual data. Then we can use the code that you can see in lines 18 to 21. So lines 18 and 19 are basically the same as lines 15 and 16. However, this time I'm also using the limits argument to set the limits of our color range. And I'm using the breaks argument to set the breaks. So after running lines 18 to 21 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated because this time the limits of our color range are set to minus 200 and 200. And the breaks of this color range are set to the breaks that we have specified manually. And you can also see that the colors in the plot have changed because now different values are corresponding to different colors in our range. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.